Alrighty, I think we're live on Facebook. Alright. So, hopefully, uh, everything works nicely today for uh, this video. Um, I'm basically going to do a, a review video on um, this thing right here. <laughs> it's uh, called the Guitar Cushion. And it's by Flanger? Like, the guitar effect? I don't know. It says Flanger. It's made in China. It's a Chinese brand, I guess. Um, this I, website's iFlan... Uh, uh, oh, wait. iFanger? I'm not kidding. It says iFanger.com. <laughs> But it's, I think it's Flanger. Oh, that's funny. So the cover says iFanger.com. Sounds vulgar, doesn't it? Um, but uh, anyways, this is a guitar cushion. It's for, uh, you know, positioning your guitar on um, when you play classical guitar. But, um, Right here, it says, I, I flanger dot com. Anyways, you know that's a definitely an import thing, isn't it? <laughs> so let's talk about guitar position. Um, for clubs, classical guitar or just guitar in general, there's uh, there's several ways I'd say. It's acceptable. There's like the classical position where you put the guitar like lower about right here. Or this this curve right here. In between or on your um left leg on on the lap. And you're gonna put your arm around like this. This is kinda like the <coughs> traditional classical position. Um, a lot of times they'll use what's we'll called a footstool. Or another way to achieve that is through this, a guitar cushion. So, it's like, supposed to kind of like, uh, achieve that kind of, you know, classical position, but without having to like lift your legs, or your left leg, which can lead to, you know, back problems. Also, it kind of keeps your back straight, because I notice when I use... A footstool, I, I tend to kind of like hunch forward, and that's not good for posture. So this actually promotes better posture, you know, by uh, having your both your feet on the floor and having your back more straight. So yeah, and I kind of feel that um, doing this. Um, just acoustically and audibly, I think I could hear the guitar better than somehow using the footstool. I think what it is, is maybe when I use the footstool, I'm kind of like really grabbing on the guitar more with my arm. It might be actually kind of deadening the sound a little bit. That's my theory anyways. But yeah, I think this, this guitar cushion works pretty great. So let me just kind of demonstrate how I would play with just a footstool, like sound like this. So I'll just play something uh, fairly easy. It's coming on guitar, uh, the video, but I am, I am definitely hunching forward more. My my shoulders are kind of like sagging, and I'm really like my elbows or my forearms really tight on that that corner. Now I'm gonna try it with the guitar cushion, and this thing is nice. Um, I bought up Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. Yeah, so it's not 
too expensive. So if you're willing to try this, go out on Amazon, just type in guitar cushion, look for the eye flanger, flanger. <laughs> but uh, now I'm, my back's more straight, um, and I can see the guitar, nice. My, my feet are flat on the floor. <laughs> come on camera but man I tell you this feels way more comfortable so I recommend getting one of these now <clears throat> um, I'm in my uh, my room I'm usually just uh, sitting on my bed and my bed's kind of low so it doesn't really um, necessarily emulate real life or you know, a lot of times when you perform or you're sitting, say in public or whatever, these chairs, they're a lot higher. So, you know, I got short legs. I'm, I'm a short guy. So, I have seen other guitars where they actually use a combination of the footstool and this. The thing is, you're like, why would you use a footstool? That's kind of, you know... Defeat the purpose. But here's the thing though. True that um, if you use a footstool, you're raising your left leg again. So I guess in a sense that could ruin your lower back. But you're not... Usually when you use chest to footstool, you, you really have to hoist up your leg, you know? And that's what causes a lot of problem. But if you use a guitar cushion with the footstool, you only put on the lowest setting, so you're not really lifting your leg too much. But you have this guitar cushion, so you know everything's nice and secure. You can really move up and down the guitar, both your left hand and right hand, which is great. And um, you know you have complete freedom. So I would definitely use a footstool with this if you have a high chair. That chair is really high, you know. Um, like some piano benches can be pretty high, like the non-adjustable ones. They they have pretty long legs. Like if you use one of those, definitely. Like in my living room, we have a piano. That bench is pretty high. But if you just use footstool with this, you're fine. In fact, uh, one of my favorite guitarists, um, he sometimes changes his like position playing guitar but um he i've seen him use the guitar cushion with uh, a footstool so you know there you go so it has been done even by well known people johannes Mahler. look him up yes so i think what i'll do is i'll create more videos where i'll play some pieces different styles See how that kind of works with this guitar cushion and see if, you know, if there's any kind of weirdness, okay? All right.